Yep, we got green mini splits. They're really nice. They're reliable. It's a good brand. We're going to put these up. We already have, uh, we're putting up the brackets right now. That'll go up here. Um, it'll match up to the communication lines, uh, the refrigerant lines. Um, and all of that's already pre-installed before, before we put the drywall on. And so right now we're just putting the air handler up. When they get on site, then the compressor will uh, be put will be put in. It'll be pressure tested, and then it'll be ready to go. Yeah, we put the, the mud sill in all the way around. Okay, that's for the drywall to come in. We got to make sure that the insulation's in, and then everything is already pre-done. So that when we come in here, all we have to do is just hang up that air handler real quick, and we're ready to go. So he's taking the plate off. Basically, that's going to hold up the air handler. We have the studs mapped out. We have the bracket gonna, that's going to go up and uh, he's just taking it off right now. What he's gonna do is, these, these brackets are actually marked for the, for the lines that he needs to see. Um, and so this, when we take this off, we'll then bring it up here and we'll marry it up here to make sure that the lines that are on the air handler will marry up here just right. Then he'll screw those into the studs and then that air handler will then be put up here and it'll come down and it'll actually just hang right there on the wall just like that. All right, there we go. We got the plate off. Just like that. Do you have a pencil on you? And then you'll take and you will we'll put this right in the middle. We'll mark our lines. We'll get your torpedo level, make sure that this bracket is right. And then we can screw it in. Yeah, it's the template. And this is very important because before we even put those lines in, it shows us where, all of, where our lines need to go to to make sure that when we put this up, that the HVAC technician that comes in that, that finishes this on site, all those lines will have enough play in them to where everything will connect smoothly. So it's important that you really pay close attention to this bracket and it shows us where everything goes. Yeah, when I'm up here, I don't wanna be down here and looking up and putting my, my level on there. I wanna make sure that everything is absolutely perfect when I put this on there, because this will be that way forever. And so, I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna bring myself eye level to where I can really see this level really well. And then I can make my lines and then I don't have to worry about, it takes the guessing out of it. You got your power drill. Oh, those are, those are uh, the drywalls. We wanna get the two and a half inch deck screws. Let's, let's mark the middle of this. Uh, we wanna make sure that the, the air handler falls right in the middle of his seal here that he's created. So he's 14 and a quarter. All right, we'll go down to 17, 14 and a quarter, seven and an eight. And that should bring him right to the middle. Good with that. So you wanna bring this down so that it covers the entirety of your seal there. So we'll try both of these, see if we get into a stud. And this one too. Let's center. All right, give that a shot. Okay, let's try this one here. If not, it looks like this one for sure. We'll hit this. There's the sound we're looking for. Let's put one down here and there as well. Okay, let's take it out. We'll try this one. You can see the seam here. Let's get it on this side too. And this guy will probably take out angle this way. I think you'll hit the stuff on that one. Try to angle it to the right. Yeah, you can hear that sound. That sound is, is hitting a stud. He was just to the right of it, which if, if you don't know and you just leave it in the drywall, obviously that air handler is going to come off of there and, and cause problems. So we want to make sure that we're in studs on either side of that seal that they made. He's got four screws in, two and a half inch deck screws on all four sides. This guy's not gonna go anywhere. And we'll pick this guy up and we'll hang him on there now. All right, so we'll let you do this. Or we can both do it. So you, you know the clips that we're looking for, right? This should just sit right. Where is that clip? Oh, yeah, right, right here. In the bottom. Right here, you see him? Hey, Austin, there can we and there. see your template really quick? Yeah, sure. 
Ones, I put right? the two and a half inch deck screws. Where your studs are, right? Yep, studs on either side. Okay. And so I measured the center of it, and then I made my mark. I made sure that that center top is, is in the middle. Then I put a torpedo level on the top to make sure that I'm level. And then once I got the four two and a half inches in, and we just go up there and set it up. Awesome. Thank you. Well, so this, this actually clips underneath. Let me, uh, here, move this ladder and I'll hold this for you real quick. It was easier for me to do it for the ground. This way we can kind of see the clips, see where it's going. Here, once it's right, then this comes down. And it sits right in just like that. So it's, it's hanging on there on the top. And then when it comes down on these little legs right here, and it clips in this way at the bottom. That's all there is to it. You're installing the mini split. Obviously, if, if your house is already established, you're gonna have to do some demolition. You have to cut into it and get all of your lines run. But if you're building an addition, if you put in all those lines first, it's not that big of a deal. Putting in that bracket, all you have to do is make sure that you put in uh, at least four screws into those studs on either side. That way that it can bear the, the proper weight for uh, the bracket to the air handler. And, and that's basically it.